everybody! I'm doing a five minute mini journey for Johannes today. So I'm going to be sharing some energy work and wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and read these goals here and then I'm going to be getting started. Okay. So it says, Hey Abby, I would like to receive some energy work to calm the mind. Stop its disruption with feelings and strengthen my heart. Open it up more. Okay. After very strong trauma release in the past week, it feels like my mind gained much more power over my heart. I am still somehow in the heart, but the mind is creating confusion and disrupts my feelings, even while I'm using various techniques that have always worked. Okay. All right, let me just get some absorption going on here. I'm just going to reread this. All right. Okay, I'm going to relax now and let's see what we can, we can do to help you out today. Okay. Well, it's a really odd image to describe. Sort of like I, I experienced tripping and falling forward, but I never fall forward. It's almost like a weird saran wrap holds my entire body. I'm just slightly standing at a at an angle, but I never fall flat on my face. I'm 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 being held up by some invisible force. It's more than just this though. Because there's a bit of a, a solidness, a solid energy that it's sort of like a made out of steel, made out of some kind of metal. That's also something I'm feeling when I look at this image. This is a lot trickier. This is a, there's a tricky thing going on here with your energy field. So I'm just relaxing things down. This invisible saran wrap, um, there's also this sort of uh, metal, thick metal feeling. This is all energy stuff and it's holding you up. It seems to be a good thing, right? You didn't fall flat on your face, but it's also not actually good. <laughs> and I see it blending and mixing together and creating a circle, almost like a wheel of fortune in a way with, um, you know, here's a clear, clearer color. Here's a rusty metal color. Here's a clear color and a rusty metal color. And it goes all the way around in a circle. And then in the center of the circle, there is energy here too. So you can see this is a complex thing going on. And it's a bit stuck as well, because I can't just bam, make this uh, energy have a self-realization. I have to actually study it, analyze it from layer to layer to layer in order to comprehend it. And then we can help release that and you can continue moving forward. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go in further from what I've seen thus far, beyond everything I've told you that I've seen thus far, I'm moving deeper into your energy field. What is in here? It's like a, it's like an attic, but you couldn't see the walls or the ceiling or the floor. It's almost like somebody took a bunch of black dust and just threw it in the air, but it's so thick I can see particles of it all over, but I can't see through it. I can't see what is around me. And I'm on the inside of what is a, a space full of this black dust. It's like ash. This too is quite stagnant. It feels stuck. So I go and I tap you on your shoulder and I say, what is it that you're wanting to accomplish here? You know, from what you're telling me, feels like the mind is getting involved here with what you're trying to have a psychic feelings experience. And I'm asking this deeper part of you what his opinion is on all of this. 
Yeah, he's, uh, so it's almost like you're actually making progress to a point where there's parts of you that don't want you to see what is beyond this point. So they're creating uh, boundaries or borders um, to keep you right at this point. <laughs> That's kind of like an ego thing. An ego, ego is actually just protecting you from yourself, which isn't really helping you move forward or beyond yourself. But that's okay because it's a really good sign of how far you have come and you're reaching a point where you're going to take a big step forward that before you can take a big step forward there's a big push backward okay but you're not going backward and you are still moving forward even if it seems like you are not and you are stuck here um, there's just time okay so we're gonna process through this let every all your energies know that it is safe to continue to move forward but it's almost like this part of you is saying I don't want Johannes to see this so if he continues to move forward then this is going to come out of you know this is like the um, I keep seeing one of those little boxes when you're a kid and you wind it up and then the, the clown jumps out and surprises you. <laughs> it's, it's a jack-in-the-box. So um, you feel like there, this deeper part of you feels as though you are going to have a jack-in-the-box experience and it's going to surprise you and you're not going to be able to handle it. So it's wanting you to stop so that you can process some stuff and then you'll be able to move on and you will be able to handle it. It shows me this, but I'm not convinced. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like you can handle the jack in the box and this part of you needs to trust and it needs to let go of any resistance. It's holding on to fear of the unknown and that's part of why things have stopped here. So I'm just, I'm giving it a belly rub, <laughs> hoping it feel good. It's going to be okay. <sighs> All right. Next scene is that saran wrap energy is really, I mean, your face is in it and it's surrounding all of you. And it's like putting a plastic bag over your head and trying to breathe. It's suffocating. It feels very suffocating. But the saran wrap around you enough times, it, it looks like you're in a cocoon. Also reminds me of a spider um, having kind of uh, spun its web around an insect that's about to get eaten. <laughs> so that's the images. image is. This too is about fear. So... I'm going to relax this down too. There's quite a lot going on here, Johannes. So for me to, I mean, there's a lot of hallways and doorways of, of calming down different fears that are rising to the surface. And that's what's kind of creating a stopping point. So your mind is overriding the heart, but um, I wouldn't worry too much about this if just keep, just keep being patient with yourself and your heart will, um, you'll start to feel reconnected with your heart again. But I am sort of, this is sort of the next wall of um, resisting the pathway forward and the enlightenment and expansion that comes with that. So we're just going to continue to heal here. This is starting to relax now. Everything we've seen thus far has come to a state of self-realization and relaxation, but when we keep moving forward, I'm, I'm, I can tell there's layers here of stuff I'm going to run into where I'm going to have to do the same thing. I just have to help it know that it is safe and it is okay and we can continue to move forward. Um, I could tell you that the next scene is sort of like a burnt wall and it's ashy. It's black, ashy, burnt wall, but the wall doesn't crumble or anything. It's still holding its structure and it's made out of wood, burnt wood. This is another block that is holding you back. And I wouldn't, I, how you are describing it here as, um, you know, it feels like your mind is getting in the way and you're really trying to work with your heart and your feelings. And really, you've moved so far forward on your journey that you just, it's just a, a normal, natural stopping point. 
This is actually a normal natural stopping point where all the other energy bodies get to catch up with how far you have come. And once they catch up with how far you have come, this stuff will just start to dissolve itself, okay? It's gonna just start to dissolve itself. I can already tell. But I mean, it's like, okay, here's a wall. And then the next thing, oh, here's this other thing going on. And then, oh, well, you got this other thing going on. It's okay to just slow down here and just, just take a break. <laughs> Let all, everything catch up with you and your ambitions. <laughs> it's almost like just take a couple days off from all your spiritual pursuits and just give all these amazing parts of you time to acclimate to how far you have come because they just, they just need time to acclimate because they just do. And that's being honoring, that's honoring and being self-loving to all the parts of you, okay? And once they feel that time and that need has been met, it'll just totally open up and you will be able to move forward quite freely again. And the mind won't be so in the way. It's just slow down and, and take, just take some time to catch up. Let all the parts of you catch up. Okay, so there, there you go. <laughs> All right, Johannes, thank you for exploring this session with me. It's always a delight to work with you. And uh, um, for any of you, any of you watching, if you are interested in working with me one on one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, I hope you all have a great day.